Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that I believe every iPhone user must change on their device if they haven't already changed them. And we're starting things off with a camera setting. Now this setting is actually very, very helpful. So I'll head over to your settings app and when you go here under the camera settings, you will find here something called grid just under the composition section you will have grid here now what grid does it actually allows you to have this these lines basically this grid right here that helps you line up pictures better also put the subject in the middle much much easier that way you're taking way better pictures with your iphone next up we're moving into the mail settings do you know that on ios you can actually change the default mail app probably most of you guys will use another app instead of the default mail app of ios if you use another app you can go ahead and set it as your default mail so if i tap right here under the mail settings right here at the top we have default mail app you will have all the mail apps that you have installed on your device right here on this list and you can go ahead and change your default mail app directly from here moving on into the sounds and haptic settings head on here and what you will find at the top right here is show in status bar and this is the silent mode icon now if you have an iphone 15 pro you will need to have this on your status bar so that you know when your device is on silent mode you know that with all the devices that don't have the action button you can just take a look at the button here and you will see whether your device is on ring mode or on silent but with these newer devices you will have to enable this setting right here then it will show you this icon on the status bar letting you know that you're on the ringer mode or silent mode next up we're talking about notifications again head on on the sounds and haptics you will have here your default alert so you go right there this is the tone that we get on ios of course you can choose any of these but what's really cool is that you can also change the vibration now if you go here you will have uh, this one which is of course synchronize the default one but what you can do is also create your own custom vibration you probably knew that you could do this for your ringtone but you can also do this for your notifications so you can just pick any vibration you want tap on stop right there tap on save add a name here and then you will have it right here on the list and you can choose it as the vibration for your notifications moving on into the safari settings whenever you download something on safari it will be downloaded either on your icloud or on your iphone now if you have multiple devices with the same apple id you want to up basically download your files on all of your devices so you will have access everywhere to your files now you can do that simply by changing the download location go here under downloads and you will have the option to choose your icloud drive that way you will be able to find your downloads on all of your devices a setting that i suggest every iphone user turns off is this one right here in-app ratings and reviews by turning this off you will stop apps from asking you to review them and just basically choose add the stars to those apps so on different apps you get pop-ups asking you to review or give them a five star review you can just go ahead turn this off and then you won't see those pop-ups whenever you install a new app or a new game on your iphone now this right here is really important head on to your settings under face id and passcode scroll down here and you will have a section called allow access when locked notice that everything that you see here if they're enabled, someone will be able to have access to these things even when your device is locked. Like return missed calls, reply to your messages, your live activities, your widgets, also the notification center, your, notifica your control center, also Siri as well. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and take a look at these settings. See with which settings you're comfortable leaving them on and which you should turn off from here. Next up, we're moving under privacy and security. What I suggest you do here is go under Apple advertising and disable personalized ads so you don't get bothered with ads and you don't get basically tracked from side to side from app to app trying to show you different advertising. 
One really important setting that you always should have turned on can be found here under emergency and SOS call after severe crash. Your iPhone can detect a crash and it will make the emergency call automatically. So you will always want to make sure that you have this setting turned on on your device. Again, from the emergency and SOS settings, turn it on directly here. Next up, we're moving under the passwords and go to passwords options. What I suggest you do here is you have this setting turned on, delete after use. This is a very, very useful setting that Apple has added to iOS 17. Basically, you get those codes that you will need. Let's say you want to log in into your Gmail account. You will need the verification code. You get it whether on your phone number or now it also works with the mail app, mail or phone, you get the verification code. Once you use it on your device to sign in, it will be deleted automatically. So you don't have a ton of different messages or emails with the verification codes saved on your device. Now, here's a really important setting. If you have a device, you know that with iOS, you will be able to point your camera to something and take a picture and then select that text, maybe to translate it or just copy it or just any text from any image. But if it, that doesn't work on your device, make sure you go here under general and then go to language and region. And right here, we'll have something called live text. If you have this disabled, that feature won't work on your device. Now, pretty old feature of iOS, but that has gotten a lot of use recently. It's shake to undo. Previously, you could just undo text. Now you can undo photo edits, app movement when you move different apps on the home screen or even widgets, you can just get them back on their place by just shaking your device. Now you will need to enable that feature. Head on to settings under accessibility. What you will find here if you go under touch is a button where you can enable or disable the shake to undo feature for your iPhone. And right here under the accessibility settings, we also have something called face ID and attention and a feature called attention aware feature. This is a feature that I suggest everyone that has a face ID device turns on. It's pretty useful. It's actually very, very cool. Now, when you're looking at your iPhone with this feature turned on, your iPhone will recognize that you're looking at it. And what it will do is that it won't dim the screen of your iPhone. It will lower the volume of alerts when it knows that you're looking at your notifications, the ringer as well. So it's pretty cool and very, very useful. Make sure you have it always turned on. Next up is background app refresh. Now we've talked about this feature before. You can find it under the general settings. Here we have background app refresh. Make sure you turn off as many apps as you can right here. If you see an app that you know you don't need to be refreshing in the background, make sure to turn it off because it will consume a ton of battery. So just go ahead, take a look at the list here. Any apps that you don't really want to have background in the background refreshing, go ahead and turn them off. And last but not least, we're moving under the location services. So what I suggest you do here. When you go to the list of apps, take a look at them and see here, a ton of apps will have this turned on right here. It is called precise location. This will allow the app to know specifically where you're at. If you don't want that to happen, make sure you turn it off from here. Now, of course, there are apps like the navigating apps, let's say Google Maps or Apple Maps, they need to have your precise location. But for most other apps, you don't need to have this turned on. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like and of course, subscribe for more videos. I will see you on the next one.